this is Dr. Leila Farivar for Econ 4400. In this video, I want to show you how to find the rejection region using Greta Soft. In the previous video, we looked at the three different types of hypothesis setting that we can see. The first type would be a right tail test. This is when your alternative hypothesis has values only to the right side of the hypothesized value in this example exhibit. The rejection region in this case is in the right tail and to the right of a point we call critical value which is the border point of the significance level area under the two distribution. So if our significance level is uh, equal to 5% then uh, this shaded area on the picture would be equal to 5% and the border point is where I have this small arrow and we get this from Gretel software. For a left tail test, the rejection region would be in the left tail, the red area shows the significance level or the probability of type 1 error for this test and uh, the border point here, that's the critical value, we will get it from the Gretel software. For a two-tail test, as we saw, the rejection region is in both of the tails of the t-distribution, to the right of the critical value, which is positive, and to the left of the negative critical value, and the probability of type 1 error, if it's 5%, if our significance level is 5%, then it will be divided in both tails. In video 1, we saw how to get these critical values from, the, uh, from, an from a statistical table which you have in a handout or it is at the end of your textbook. Now I'm going to show you how to get these critical values using a software and the software we are going to look at is Gretel. So let me open up Gretel. You can find these tables even without uh, importing the data into Gretel. So with an empty Gretel, you should still be able to use the statistical tables. We go to Tools, the second pull-down menu here. And the first option would be Statistical Tables. We click on, the, we click on Statistical Tables. Here you have a few options the table or the tables are calculated for different types of uh, distributions. So we have normal distribution, T distribution, chi-square distribution, F distribution, and uh, such. Now, for a simple hypothesis test, the distribution is a T distribution, so we will select the T distribution. I will click on the T here. And I need to specify the same two pieces of information for Gretel. First of all, what is the degree of freedom, which is n minus k minus 1, and Gretel wants us to give it the right tail probability. So let me keep the example as we had. The degree of freedom was 13, n minus k minus 1 was 13, so just type in 13. The right tail probability Let's start with uh, the first hypothesis test and uh, the significance level of the test was 5%. All of, of that 5% area would be in the right tail if we are doing, a, if we are considering a right tail test. So I will put 0 0.05 here. If I hit OK, I'll see the results here. First row is telling me it's a T distribution. In the parentheses, you see the degrees of freedom, so T13. The right tail probability that uh, Gretel used was the 5%, so here is just repeat of the information we fed into Gretel. Complementary probability, that's the probability of the other side, that's 95%. The two tail probability, that would be 1, so we ignore this part. The critical value is 1.7709. If you remember from the first video, if you look at the uh, t-distribution table, you get 1.771. 
So those numbers are rounded up to three. Here we get our number with more precision. So 1.77093, that's the critical value for a one-sided test in the right tail. Now let's say we want the left tail. Let me close the window. The information for a left tail test with the same sample, so that degree of freedom is the same, is exactly the same thing, but uh, we just consider the negative sign. So the degree of freedom is 13, the right tail probability would be still 0 0.05, but now we need the left tail part of it, so we need the mirror image of it. So I will not touch this information here. Obviously, I get the same result in my result window. Now, critical value is 1.77093. I know that I should consider the negative value of this because the rejection region would be on the left tail if I'm doing the left tail. So for a right tail and left tail, the information that you give and the information that you receive is exactly the same. We just need to be cautious that for a left tail test, the rejection region is in the left tail. Therefore, it would be the T's that are smaller than the negative critical value that we get from those. Now, for a two-sided test, the information would be slightly different. If it's a two-sided test, degree of freedom is still 13. But the right tail probability now would be half this much, would be 0 0.025. Let me go back to the picture real quick. So for a two tail test, if you see, we have 0 0.025 probability on the right tail and also 0 0.025 probability on the left tail. Gretel only asks us, okay, what is the right tail area? So the right tail area, although my test is two-sided, it's two-tailed, but the right tail area for it would be 0 0.025. So that's the number I will feed into that Gretel window. So go back to Gretel and our window here. So let's put 0 0.025, hit OK. This would be our result. So the right tail probability, 0 0.025. The critical value, 2.16. That's exactly the number that we read from the handout table as well. Here with a little bit more precision.